a lot of heavy drinkers eat healthy. We do. A lot of, uh, for some reason, a lot of people I know, and you're probably going, yeah, I, I have a, the ability to eat real healthy. Well, you know, we challenge ourselves. We put a lot of that on the back burner when we're drinking heavy. That's the golden triangle you hear me talk about. The top point of the triangle is our mood, like fear, anger, guilt, shame. And it also involves our sleep, how we sleep. And then the, the bottom left of the tri triangle, that point is our nutrition and fitness. And the other point is our sobriety or everything we're doing besides sobriety. Die Mountain Dew, tea, coffee, too much of anything. So we want to balance the stuff we're not doing when we're, 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 we're drinking, um, when we're not drinking. We want to balance out our sleep. We want to sleep better. We want to, we want to eat better. We want to do these things incrementally. We want to earn them. And while we're earning them, that control we're building and that repetitive motion is is signaling us away from alcoholism it's just kind of removing that data and it sometimes it takes a month a year several years i mean to, to, this is a process that you should be very proud of you should want to work at it because right now you're working at a lot of withdrawal anxiety fear boredom missing the head high if you're sober like like missing i was talking about if you're really stuck in a struggle but then even if you're sober it's tough especially around the holidays we're more anxious we're more moody we struggle with that and i'm here to remind you especially like if you get a, a bad email from a from your boss or you lose your job or you get sued or just something bad happens the world is ending we, we also do that alcoholics are the worst we become very big pessimists even though we're the biggest leaders too and that's the that's the one we jump from one addiction to the other right it's kind of with our mental mind too so we've got to really balance these things out that's what I'm trying to teach you all okay and it starts with you staying calm Part of that mood triangle is being resilient, knowing that time heals, but don't let time just be the equalizer. You need to step up and forgive before time heals. What do you mean time heals, Scott? Well, like you get in a, get in a fight with your spouse or an argument and you, you don't want to go to the party or you're not going to go bowling or you're not going to hang out and play board games because you're upset because your spouse made you mad so you're going to go to bed angry and you wake up the next day and you're happy again. You you let it go because time heals and you apologize or sometimes it might take two, three days. Sometimes you can't get over stuff but most of it we even get over it because we forget. That's part of time healing. We forget. So I'm asking you to step up when you get that bad email or you lose your job. And, and, and even on the holidays when lots of things are going on in your board, you have to step up and face that disruption. Face that, you know, there's lots of curiosity, but you got to face it and you got to work through it. You got to be calm because you, you treat your body so well with good food and you have a good job and you got a good family and you're trying to do the best. You know, you're, st you're struggling with alcohol right now. But what I'm saying is part of being more resilient and being healthy is not just what you're putting in your body, it's mind. It's learning to forgive, being more calm, being more patient, lower resting heart rate, you know, heart rate in 50s, 60s, low 70s, not 80s and 90s, low 100s. That's where a lot of you are right now. Just, we've got to be calm. We've got to learn to forgive and know that the world is not ending right now. Okay? So when you get frustrated this holiday season, remember to be your best leader. Be your best coach. Talk yourself off the cliff. We all need a coach. Be your own coach. You can do it. You can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I know I can do it. I am not going to drink. I am not going to stay upset. I'm going to get over this. Even during the most, the most difficult times, if I can learn it now, Imagine what I'm gonna, where I'm going to be in January and February. So stay focused.